doing exercises that I use to give my patients when I did home physical therapy. And they are sit to stand, standing balance, and step ups. And each of them address a functional part of your everyday life. Sit to stand addresses getting out from a chair. Standing balance addresses your standing and walking. And your step ups addresses how you go up and down the stairs. If you're someone who isn't very active, I highly recommend that you start with some warm up stretches. And the three body parts that I recommend you start stretching before you do any of these exercises are calf stretches, hamstring stretches, and hip flexor stretches. Hamstring stretches, my leg on the chair. If you want a safer position for your hamstring stretch, a little stool here, leg straight, and stretch forward like so. It's also important to stretch your calf. This is your typical calf stretch in standing. So I'm stretching the back leg, knee straight, like this. So you're gonna feel the back of your knee and then you can bend your knee a little bit while keeping the heel on the floor. So bend this knee slightly, keeping the heel on the floor. You're gonna feel more in your ankle. And the last is your hip flexor stretch. And you can do that in a similar position. So just bring your leg back. It's gonna stretch the back hip right here. You're gonna feel this stretching. Try to bring your knee straight when you do this. And you can switch. And again, I was holding on to the wall for balance. Hold on to a chair for balance. You can also sit on a chair and just hold this right here. So that way, you'll be safe. Just sit to stand. Three things. Sit to the edge of the chair. Bring your feet under your knees, and then lean forward. So that's your starting position. You're going to squeeze your abdominals and push off from your legs here. Push, and down, and repeat, and down. And you repeat for five, at least five repetitions. Now if you're trouble doing this, you can put your hands on your knees to help. When you have enough strength, then you can transition back to without hands. Right next is the standing balance. This is one of my favorite standing balance exercises. A little weight shift, forward and back, toe up, heel up, toe up, heel up. If you need to, you can have something you can hold on just in case, but I highly recommend you try not to touch the supporting surface unless you feel like you're losing your balance. If you feel like you're losing your balance, your hand is right here, you can hold on right away. And this can be your kitchen counter, your dining room table, or just a wall. Over and back. Toe up, heel up. Once you master this one, you can make it more difficult by adding an arm swing, like so. Of course, I do this for 10 repetitions, and then switch. It's the same thing, toe up, heel up. Toe up, heel up. Add arm swing if you're confident, but always, have something next to you for balance. So this is an imitation of the walking that we usually do. This is a pre-walking exercise. It's gonna help you with your walking, your walking balance. Now, if you wanna go a step farther, you can do a step forward, step, back. Step, and back. Again, 
close to the support surface just in case. Step and back. Make a switch. Step and back. Step and back. The last part is your step ups. Right. Last exercise is the step ups. I have a little step right here. If you have a staircase, that will work perfectly. Just on the safe side, you want to have something you can hold on. I have this chair here, there is a staircase, you have a wall or a handrail and that will work perfectly. So you're going to keep one foot on the step, this is a little high, just a low step will be perfect for this exercise. You're going to step up and down, up and down. Do five to ten times and rest. All right. Having a chair here very convenient. You can just sit on the chair when you get tired. Uh, better even have two chairs, one to hold on to, one behind you. You switch the foot and work the other leg. Up and down. Up and down. And then. Make sure you rest in between the sets and do three, two to three sets. And if you do this every day, you get stronger and better at the exercises. With the sit to stand and the step up exercises, they're very uh, quad intensive. They work your quads and the quads apply pressure to your knees when you're using your quads a lot. So it's also important to stretch your quads. If you're flexible enough, you can do the typical quad stretch, which is just grabbing your ankle and you hold on to something for balance. Alright, so this is a typical quad stretch. <clears throat> now, if you're not flexible enough to do this stretch, you can do modified quad stretches. But uh, I already made a video that you can check out over here that goes over the modified quad stretches. Uh, one of them, one step below the regular quad stretch is using a towel or a strap to help you with the stretch. You just pull the strap uh, and you feel the increased intensity of the stretch. A step even below that is very simple as well. You simply have a chair behind you, hold on to something for balance, bring your leg onto the chair if your quad is very tight, you should already feel it right here. Right here, down to the knee, you should feel a stretch if you're very tight. If you don't feel a stretch with this exercise, I will go to uh, get a towel or a strap, put it around the ankle, and pull until you feel a stretch. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for my mom, her friend, and my wife for making suggestions, for making a program like this something that you can do safely at home or anywhere if you like the video make sure to hit like to support the channel if you didn't like this video feel free to hit the dislike and uh, leave a comment down below on how i can make my videos better see you in the next one